Hi geology students. It's Sunday and I'm at Mount Rainier National Park. I was missing going out on our weekend field trips with you guys so I thought I would bring the field trip to you in class. I know it's not really the same but it's better than nothing. Um, and since we're studying glaciers this week I thought well this would be an appropriate place to come. So there's a little bit of snow on the ground but one thing, the thing that I really wanted to show you guys was um, the snowmen that my son Luke and I made. And so when you think about glaciers, and remember in class we talked about snow turning into fern and then turning into dense glacial ice. And you can probably relate to this when you make snowmen. And sometimes it's really easy to make a snowman when the snow is very wet and um, has a higher density than just fluffy white snowflakes. Uh, but one thing I really wanted to show you, hold on, I'm gonna get in the picture right now. One thing I was thinking about, since we're gonna be studying how glaciers erode and deposit material, I was thinking, hey, this snowman is perfect because as the ice moves over the landscape, remember how we've been talking about how um, all kinds of debris, rocks, and trees, and everything gets embedded in the ice. And so here, this can be like our glacier. And you see this guy, he has some one granite eye and one andesite eye. And as this snowman begins to melt, what's gonna happen to his eyes, and his arms, and his Douglas fur comb nose, and his mossy hair? imagine what's going to happen as the snowman begins to melt. All that stuff is just going to fall in place. And that's just like a glacier carrying the debris that it accumulates from rock fall onto the ice and things get embedded in the bottom of the ice. When the ice melts, all that stuff is left behind. What is the name of that unconsolidated, unsorted material? Think about that as we do our, the rest of our lecture today. Okay, see you soon. Bye.